Hello everybody, yes, it's Pythia, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Uh, don't mind my voice, I am really sick right now, to be honest with you guys. But I have to get out these videos, uh, because I love you guys. So, um, thank you all so much for the support lately. We made a video last time talking about the uh, Steel Brain Rock kit. This is the, uh, that was for the old, newer version, actually. But we're going to be looking into our, like, other kits that everyone who's been following this series. So, you know, just go hop right into studio. This video is going to be talking about making the Index, Rebirth, and all the other icons look better. You know, just like the actual Steel Brain Rock game. Um, and we're also probably going to be making the shot button right now, so let's do that. Uh, but yeah, let's hop into studio. Alrighty, so there actually isn't going to be any model for this video. Um, of course, if you are part of the membership, thank you, thank you very much, you guys, for everyone who's part of the memberships. Uh, I do post all the kits and everything, so you will have everything in here if you want to just put this into your game if you're part of the membership. Um, and it's really, really simple for you. Um, but yeah, so it's super easy to do, which I can explain that in a bit here, of course. But yeah, um, one thing I'd like to mention real quick is you guys are probably wondering, like, what kind of do I mean exactly by the vector and icons? Um, we're going to be looking exactly at a few things. But like, what's really nice about, uh, you know, just searching up is you can find like free assets on like Twitter and stuff. Um, I did download these, but it doesn't have an index icon, but it has like a shop and like a rebirth um, and then it has like gems and settings and all that kind of stuff which is really nice that's honestly a great addition to all these kinds of things but of course we do want an index because this is what steel brain rock does but yeah like i downloaded this and it has these amazing like game pass icons and stuff which is just awesome so you can use them to make like you know anything you want so like go search up things on twitter because you may find up things for free that people make and this was made by classic so i'll probably leave this in the description if you want it but yeah so um Going forward, sorry guys, I my voice is horrible. Okay, so we're going to open up our game. Now, we have an index and a rebirth, so we're probably going to just customize these first because uh, these are the most important ones. But um, there's just a few things we need to do. Um, we're going to have to get the icon for both of them. Now, if you search up, okay, so go open your game and everything. If you search up in Toolbox, and this works for uh, Studio Light, you search up decals, okay? I searched up book vector, so it looks like there's that one right there which works, but I'm going to search up book icon just in case. Okay, yeah, so there's these ones. This one is perfect, honestly. This works as index. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it, okay? And like I said, this works for in this works for Studio Light as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is this is the index button, okay? It is a text button. We have a UI corner, which we could keep for now. We have a UI stroke, so I'm going to get rid of the stroke. Um, actually, we could, we could keep it, uh, but... We don't need to worry about that right now. So I'm going to actually just, yeah, UI stroke. Uh, well, we'll keep it for now. Um, and then we have the icon, okay? But we want this index button. We want the track background transparency to be the one, okay? And then actually, yeah, get rid of the UI stroke. And we're going to grab this book icon that we just imported. And we're going to go and copy this ID. Okay, so copy this ID and put it into this icon right here. And it should look like that, okay? So now we have the book icon, Okay. So what I'm going to do, just because I don't like the size of this, is uh, we're going to grab everything in here, okay? Just to make sure we're going a little bit bigger. And we're going to go like this. Probably something around right here. Uh, that should be just fine. And then we are going to grab this index, and we're going to put it on top of it, just like there. Now, this might be a little harder on Studio Light, uh, so just feel free to just mess around with it. I don't personally like this text. I think I'm going to change it, so uh for the text itself uh i'm probably gonna follow a let's do this i like this one better uh if you search up comic in the property down here this is a better comic like kind of look to it if that makes sense but uh yeah so we'll do that and then oh my gosh sorry guys i'm gonna bold this so make it a little bolder and that looks good okay and then sometimes it's good to check like okay does the size look good and everything yeah that looks good Okay, so we have index made. Uh, I think it's just a little too small, so I'm going to grab it, and I'm just going to do it a little bit more. Okay, so that should be good. So now that we have the index and we have the frame and everything, we can uh, do the rebirth. So it's actually just the exact same. Same thing we just did. Now, because we just kind of redid it exactly the way we just did, uh, we kind of do want them to be the same size. Uh, okay, well, let's just do this first. So... We'll search up Rebirth Icon. And I actually just got these, like I mentioned, using that kit I downloaded. But there's already one right here. So 
we're just such a rebirth and we have a rebirth right here okay so now we're gonna drag this into rebirth just to make sure we get that one and so what we could do is you can see this has rebirth button and then it's icon and rebirth so what we're gonna do is i'm actually just gonna duplicate this i'm gonna put it in rebirth gui i'm gonna call it uh rebirth button okay hang in with me there and we are going to just change this text to rebirth like this and then actually same thing going here we go rebirth okay so now what we could do is i'll grab this and i'll just bring it down just like that okay just to make sure it's not it's the same size and everything and then we could grab this button and let's just double check attributes are the same yeah i will delete that okay now we just go inside we grab this icon id right here okay and we put it inside of the icon right here this image image okay so now you have index and rebirth so that looks pretty good i mean if you kind of look at the screen it looks pretty good uh guys like i said when it comes to game development this isn't the best way of doing this i recommend like having a main gui that holds these all on the left side and it's like already together you know you shouldn't have individual guis that handle each one that you, it should just be all together uh, but just better for organization also with like constraints and making things fit to the right size and stuff but okay so that sounds about right yeah so see there's a few of these with that okay so uh yeah so now we have rebirth and that's good i think it is rebirth i think it looks like this actually so if we go i don't know how they format it you know we could just it doesn't have to be in order okay so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna duplicate this no wait no no, no. actually no we have the shop gui right here i totally forgot about this so we have the shop gui so let's just grab another index index button we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna put it in shop gui and then we're gonna go shop button like this okay and then i'm gonna grab this and i'm just gonna drag it over time now if you want to do this so uh what i'm doing is i'm holding control okay i'm holding control this is, is doing everything okay so make sure you're doing that because that helps with that um and then we can just go like there and then i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna search up shop icon okay Gonna show shop icon and we have this one. There's this one too, which is pretty cool. That looks pretty good. Um, and then I'm just gonna grab this ID and I will put this right uh here. And I will paste that. And there we go. We have the shop done. And then we go here and we go, oh sorry, one more. <laughs> and we go shop. Okay. Um yeah, that looks pretty good. I think the icon could just be like a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter and sometimes like i said guys with this stuff is like you can always add like a ui scale this just makes sure that it's never like shrinking and things like that there's there's pretty ways of doing this but for now it looks good okay so we have shop index and a rebirth okay so <coughs> oh my gosh sorry so with this we can actually look at rebirth gui and i'm going to show you this but we're going to go to shop gui too and we're just going to do a new local variable we'll call it uh local shop button equals uh shop gui Oop. and we're going to go wait for child shop button okay just like that so in here we're going to just see what they do we do for this so it's, i'm guessing we're just using open frame and things but we see right here okay so rebirth button so this is what we do we just copy this go to shop it doesn't matter where you put it we just put it right here and we're just going to go uh, shop button dot activated. And we don't need to worry about this. So don't worry about that. And we just go shop frame dot visible. And we just paste these in here and we delete this. Okay. And there you go. So you just go like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Because uh, update rebirth, update own, visible fire server, shop frame on client event. Yeah. So it's actually, yeah, we're good. Because this is all it's doing is it is just uh animating the frame so you do it is good to check this too as well but this still works so it should work with everything okay so let's just see let's click play real quick uh so yeah i'm working on a lot of more tutorials you guys i thought i'd just make this one real quick because i know a lot of you guys are probably wanting something a little nicer but ah, okay so shop doesn't do that because this is a thing but okay so we have the shop um oh this is like the actual shop though uh we want to do robux shop <laughs> Okay, we're going to do that real quick. Uh, to do that, though, we need to get the right GUI. But okay, so this see the effects right here? So 
partial reason it's not doing that is because we don't have a hover effect on this one. And I think I know why. Uh, oh my gosh. Sorry, you guys. It's really bad with my, my uh, sickness. But I'm here for you. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was a tag. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Rebirth button. I think it's icon. No, 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 no. It's definitely one of these. Uh, Anime button. There we go. So it's this. This is what I've got to do. So we go to shop. And we actually just do this real quick. And we go here. So now that should work. But uh, what was doing wrong is we're actually using the wrong one. So uh, Robux shop GUI. Okay. So we can actually just... Uh, let's just put this in here. That's okay. No worries. Uh, and then let's just get rid of... Uh, let's go back in here. Robux shop GUI. Sorry, guys. Uh, we want to keep this as it is. So let's let's do this again. Uh, I'm actually going to delete. Well, okay. Let's just make this real quick. Workshop bud equals Robux shop GUI. Wait for child. And then we'll go shop bud again. Okay. And then we're just going to go back into shop. Let's get rid of this because we don't want to worry about that. And then we're going to grab what we made here. So bind shop. Don't worry about that. Um, and then we're going to go into here. And we can actually just call this too to really make sure we're not mixing things up. And we'll go, uh, oops, I don't know why there's, like, here we go, uh, Robux shop button. And we could go right here, and we'll go Robux shop button animate, just like this, okay? And you should be good. All right. All right, so this is what we added right here, okay? So this is what we added. Uh, we could just comment this out, added, just like this. Okay, so now we hit play, okay? So this is going to look a little better. Now we click play and it should have the animation. Yeah, just like that. And it opens up the Robux shop. So that is about it. Um, I'm going to actually just do this too real quick because I don't like this. And wait, 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 look. But uh, yeah, so now we have the nice index and everything like that. Uh, I heard some people are asking about uh, the way these are like saving and stuff. So probably have to work on that. And the lucky blocks to get rid of these. I'm going to be fixing that, guys. I, there's some things I need to fix with this. Uh, but yeah, so... Here we go. Rebirth, I'll probably also fix it, make it look nicer for you guys. Uh, okay, so we have the shop. Looks good. We're going to make, I'm going to make another video, by the way, for Robux Shop, talking about like making actual gay passes that are really cool. So we're going to do that in another video. But yeah, so let's actually just do one more thing. Let's do the text. Um, I actually could get a little bit of a variant for you guys. But okay, so Robux Shop, Shop Joy, we don't need to worry about that. Buddy GUI. Okay, so down here, we have the buddy pop-ups, and we have Fred Boost, and then we have the buddy label. Okay, so I think we're going to make this just a little bit smaller, uh, probably, and then we're going to get rid of this stroke, or I don't know why the thickness is five. should be like a two. Like, two is just fine. We'll make it two, and then down here, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to make this comic new, okay, just like that. Uh, we could even bold this like I was mentioning. I like bolding the text. It makes it look good. And then we're going to go to the money label. And I'm going to go down to here. Let's go down like this. And just to see what we have, we're going to go like kind of like that. Okay. And we want to probably shrink it just a little bit down, right? So probably like right there. And we're going to go again, UI stroke. We'll get this like two. I don't know why it's so much. And we're going to go down here. And I'm going to do the comic one because... Like I said, I like this one better. It looks good. We're going to make this bolded. Um, and then one thing you can do if you want. Well, so this is nice too to add a UI scale. Uh, and then that should be fine. Our UI aspect ratio constraint. Same thing for this UI scale. Uh, and then buddy pop-ups. So buddy pop-up. If you drag this into here. Top right. Let's double check. Uh, where's the text? Uh, okay, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let's... Yeah, well, this one too. Let's go here and we go uh, comic new, bold, and then uh, UI stroke is like three. Okay, thickness. We'll go two again. And then we're going to go down back into this and just make sure this isn't set to anything. So we'll put this back in money. Okay. And I'll explain how that works in a bit. But okay. So that should be fine. Money pop ups, by the way, should just be down here. So just make it a little shorter. So we'll go like right here. We could even like go like right there ish. I don't know really how they program that specifically but okay uh and then in the body label i've actually yeah so we're gonna go back to no we'll keep it too we'll keep it too 
But one thing you could do is you could do UI gradient. So we could do something like this. And then we could do a color sequence. Uh, let's go like ID on this. And we could go like from a green like that to like a darker green. Okay, perfect. So that looks pretty good. You see how that looks? Much better. Looks much better. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, if we go close it, you can, yeah, you can see it looks scales right. Sometimes, guys, if you go to test and you go to device, you can see what it looks like on your phone. So that's what it looks like on mobile step users. So I feel bad for you guys, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that, I think we just click play and uh, let's just see how it looks right now. I think it looks good, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, so zero, a trillion. Okay, and then I don't... The text pop-up is really small. Holy crap. Why is it so small? Uh, let's go and double check this real quick. Uh, buddy pop-ups. Oops. Okay, well... It's, it can't, yeah, it's probably because of the size, actually. Wait, hold on. Let's double check this. Okay, yeah, it is, it is because of the size. So, what I did here was I just... Turn on visible, by the way, if you want, to the frame. It's Leave it unvisible when we fix it. But when you turn it visible, find this value right here. And you need to just make it a bit bigger. So something like that. And then this one, too, like, you can customize it how you like. But I'm going to probably just leave it right there. Because what's going to happen is going to look like plus. Let's go like here. Just test it out. And it'd be like plus 200, just like that. And, I mean, you could do anything. Like, like I said, guys, if you want to do, like, a UI grading again. And then this time, like. Okay, we go 90, and we go, like, instead of this, we do, like, a uh, a gold. Like, it does, like, a, a goldish effect like that. That's pretty cool. So, we can go right here. I think this is visible off, if I'm right. Yeah, go money. Turn this visible off as well. And then let's just double check again and see if this works. Make sure it works. Um, so, I hope you guys saw what I just did there. Okay, yeah, so it did that. And then we go like that. Oh, and there you go. It looks better. But now the gold's gone. So, it's probably... A, text that's a script that's doing this uh oh whoa oh i was probably because i loaded it and i left like way too fast okay we'll worry about that later uh it's probably right here so if you go update money yeah it's format text color it's green so this is where oh else so if it's greater than zero so if it's if it's adding it's going to be green so we could just make this oh that's weird and then if it's minus Ah, it's red. Okay, never mind. Don't add a gradient. Just get rid of the gradient. You don't need that. That makes sense why it's doing that. Actually, keep the gradient. No, no, no. Keep the gradient. Because it's pretty cool. It adds an effect to it. Uh, okay. Red, green. That's perfect. Yeah, so if, if you want to mess with this and change it how you want. Like, okay, so if I did want to make this, we could just do white. That should make it orange. And then this, yeah. So if I, if I did white, it should make it uh, the color that I want it to be. Yeah, there you go. So, so now when I collect it, it does the right kind of color. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and then, yeah. So, Cell does that. So, let's just double check what it looks like when we purchase something. It's probably going to make it red. It should make it red. Uh, I want to break rock off. Okay. Yeah, it makes it red. Okay. So, there you go, you guys. That is it for this tutorial. Something a little simple. I'm sorry it was a little long. But we've made some really nice GUIs. They look much better now. And, uh, yeah. They just they just look really good now. Uh, don't worry about this. This is an issue. I was <laughs> worried because I was doing the fuse machine and it's broken. So, I got to fix it. But, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys did, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, you guys. And uh, of course, join the Discord and become part of the membership today. I really, really appreciate all of you guys. Uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.